Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zenata Consulting. Uh, my name is Tyler Colt and this video is actually a little snippet from our full product tutorial on Zoho Click that we recorded in November of 2022. Um, so in this section, we're talking through the integration options for Zoho Click, a bunch of the pre-baked ones here that are built for various existing Zoho applications. Um, so we do hope that you find this video useful. And if you do, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. Um, and as well, please be sure to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section, as we do try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks again for watching and please enjoy. Under our settings, we do have some of our integrations listed. So, you know, 365, Zoho People, single sign-on, uh, you know, mobile device management, Zoho Projects, Telephony, and Notebook. Um, Brad kind of already set up this Zoho Projects integration. And basically the way to think about it is that if the integration is here natively inside of Zoho Click, what it's likely going to do is add like an embed of that application. Right, so when Brett installs this projects integration from here, it's installing this embed from Zoho Projects, which basically is the full Zoho Projects app just built into the UI of Zoho Click, minus like some of the settings and configuration that you would do on the project side. But within the Zoho ecosystem of applications, there's actually a lot of other apps that have pre-built connections for CRM. And so I had set up this channel earlier for sales notifications. Um, so how would we actually go about setting up a notification here that would come from CRM automatically when we, let's say, win a deal, right? If we want to match that uh, description we gave it, we should trigger this on a deal being closed one. So under the CRM here and under most Zoho applications, under the settings, you're going to have a section for marketplace or integrations. And within that, you'll have a section for Zoho. So here within the CRM, we have kind of a demo install where we don't have anything installed. So I'm going to set up the Zoho Click integration. And it's very simple on this side, right? We're really just like connecting the dots between the two applications and setting up the basic permissions that let them talk. Right, so this baseline integration, it's just binary. Yes, we are connected or no, we're not. But so then what happens when we actually want to automate a notification going out when a deal enters a certain stage, right? So here we have this one stage, um, you know, or maybe we'd want to do it on payment received. I'm going to keep it simple and do one, but you could do this for any stage. Under our workflows, so under settings, getting a little mini CRM webinar here as we go. Under our workflows, we'll make a workflow for deals. And the stage is one, we'll go ahead and notify click. So I'll go through this part quickly. We've got lots of videos on workflows and kind of the logic and reasoning for setting them up as we do. So basically what this reads as once a deal is updated to match the status of stage is one, we want to do a thing, right? In CRM, you can do lots of different things based on these workflows, but because we have that integration turned on, we're actually able to now natively notify via click with no custom code, you know, nothing crazy that we need to do here. Um, we are just able to notify through directly to click. And so we'll see there's two ways to do it. You can either like do it to like a deal owner, right? Where it will like dynamically message whoever is the owner of that deal in click. Or in this case, if it's more of an announcement, you can actually notify through to a certain channel, right? So here I'm gonna notify through to my sales notifications channel, but you could surely set this up to say like message the deal owner and let them know that this closed so that they can do X, Y, and Z um, to kick off the onboarding. But here we'll set up a notification to our channel. And that now is set. Oops, I think I need to add our message. I knew I was missing something in here. So up here, I'm typing out the message that I want to send. If I hit pound, I'm actually able to merge in 
any data that's a part of that deal. So I could say deal name closed for, let's say, you know, deal amount. And I'll click save. Go ahead and save that. Now our workflow is turned on and we are looking good. So if I go ahead and open up the CRM here, maybe I've got an example deal. Looks like it might be a $0 amount. So I'm gonna make sure we've got a little bit of forecasting here. Is. Go for 10,000. Let's go ahead and move this to one. Now we'll see down here at the bottom, it's actually done its little click embed and pop up here. Um, but back inside of the click application in our sales notification channel, we've got a little pop up here from Zoho CRM where we can just click view record and that will actually launch us right to that application. Um, and we're able to, you know, view the rest of the information that we might care about for this deal. Now, this is really similar in lots of other Zoho apps. So I'm not going to show it over and over again here. In Zoho Desk, for example, it's like identical. So if you wanted some type of channel where if the ticket status goes to escalated, right, it messages through to a certain channel, it's pretty much identical on that side of the house um, to set up that type of integration. But hopefully this is kind of a helpful walkthrough here of just these key steps. Anything you would kind of add here, Brett, that I missed? No, I mean, I think you've covered it all. I mean, just doing that simple workflow to go ahead and pull something as easy as, you know, hey, a deal has closed or a deal has won. And, you know, as you were showing, it could be any stage of a deal, right? A deal yeah. has moved for polls, you know, I just kind of want to keep track of that. Um, I guess what I would point out is just this is super, super powerful. We actually have it set up i mean the things you can do inside click with zoho once you're doing zoho is you can actually parse an email pull so if an email is sent to a certain email address or from a certain thing maybe you get all these you know depending on what business you're in you're getting all these notifications that are all sent to you by email and you'd really like to parse that out and you'd like to drop that into a specific channel just as one single line you know, like uh, I was talking about, one of our client has upgraded by one account. Well, maybe maybe they've downgraded their account and you want to call them and go, is everything okay? Those kind of things. Whereas mm -hmm. having to scan through hundreds of emails can be rather onerous, but uh, just having to scan through a whole bunch of one-liners that kind of tell, you know, tell you all the information you're looking for, completely different. Uh, you can connect it to books. You can, you know, when is an invoice paid? Maybe you only want certain people in your finance department to know that. Maybe you want to know when an invoice is sent out. So, you know, when an invoice is sent out, that information writes in and says, hey, this client was just invoiced. When they paid, you'll note that that client has paid. I mean, there's yep. just so many little things you can do um, that, you know, we just basically touched on the surface here that make it a super, super powerful tool. Um, I think the thing that changed it for us was the just this year, they added the ability for folders to rearrange your pins, to move everything around, to totally organize click. Because it becomes such a useful tool that you end up with dozens and dozens of channels yeah, and hundreds you start of contacts. Doing everything inside a click, right? And it just you becomes really a little unwieldy. Um, you know, so being able to organize things is just massively useful. That's why I kind of mentioned like do it early. Start organizing them when you have like four or five channels. Cause we went through and organized ours when we had like 30 or 40, and it's just a lot more legwork at that point. Yeah, I think I need more folders actually I, for my original setup that I did six months ago. You know, it just makes it easy and quick to kind of go through everything. But, yeah. you know, it's just so powerful, Tyler. And like you're talking about, this is just one of our favorite tools that Zoho has. It's rock solid, it just works. Um, you really can't go wrong. You know, if you're a Zoho One user, you know, we've got a lot of people say, oh, we're on Slack or we're on Teams, we can't move. You really should. The integrations are worth it. Um, and they're just, so many different bots out there and so many different ways you can connect to it. I believe this year too, that click got opened up to um, Zapier, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So you actually can, you know, there's another methodology to get more information into Zoho click.